Hello Rail Fans, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today, we're going to be building this old Conrail transfer caboose here. And this is what it looks like here. And this does have a full interior that we'll be building. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off with the coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer. Then put a light blue concrete right here. Under it, we're going to put two sideways dark oak fence gates. Then on the next block forward on bottom, we're going to get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, we're going to go three wide with upside down black stone brick stairs and a back to back T-shaped pattern. In front of that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then. We're going to come in front of this wheel set and we need to be on the upper hip box of the bottom block in the center and we're going to put a line coming down the middle of warp trap doors and that's going to be 13 blocks long in total so one three thirteen then once you have 13 on the next block forward we do the next truck so a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle then upside down, black stone brick stairs, three wide and a back-to-back T-shaped pattern in the middle. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then right here in the middle, two sideways dark oak fence gates. Now we're gonna go through and we're gonna put a hopper on the side of all eight of the netherite wheels. Then, on the middle of each truck, we're going to put two dark oak fence gates. And same thing down here. Then we're going to crouch, and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing on this side over here. Then we do the other truck, so get a wither skeleton skull on these two hoppers. And same thing on this side right here. Then we'll come on top with light blue concrete and we'll start here and do a line right down the middle over these trap doors and we'll come out one block past this truck here then turn around up here and crouch and put a dark oak stair on top of this fence gate for the coupler at this end here now take out warp slabs on this upper hit box and put two coming out to this side two coming out to here behind it one here and one here Repeat that pattern at this end. So two slabs here, one here. Then two here, and one here. Then we're gonna take a warp stair and we need to crouch and get a right side up stair above this hopper facing outward. And then same thing on this side, one stair above this hopper facing outward. Then we'll repeat it at this end. So come up here, get one stair above this hopper, one stair above this hopper over here. Then go back to warp slabs on this upper hip box here, and we're gonna fill the whole rest of this with two rows of warp slabs on the upper hip box coming out to the side and right down to this other end. And then we'll repeat it on this side, so start here, and we'll do two rows of warp slabs here and go end to end on this upper hip box coming out to the side so that the whole top of this ends up being five blocks wide just like the tracks just like that now we're going to come underneath this bottom outside edge come one block over from the wheels and put three warp slabs here then skip three and two warp slabs then in between the slabs here down here we need to get three sideways chains where this gap is. And then that one was temporary, so take it out. And actually, we're gonna extend these slabs down another layer, so two slabs here and three here. Then we're gonna take out birch fences and start our railings. And we're gonna put two birch fences here, two here. 
Copy it on this side. So two here, two here. Then we'll do this end. So two here, two here. Then two here, and two here. Then we'll take a warped fence, and we're gonna put one in the middle here, one on the middle of this end. Then right here, we're gonna put two warped fence gates on either side like this. And on this one, we're gonna close the jungle trap door for the brake wheel right here. Then repeat it at this end. So come down here, two warp fence gates on either side, and then close the jungle trap door right here. Then take warp fences and put two here, two here. And repeat down here, so two here, and two right here. Now we're gonna take out light blue concrete on this left-hand side, and we need to be one block in front of this fence. And right here, do a two by two. Then a warp door in the middle, then this L shape of light blue, and a black stained glass block here. Above this, two rows of five light blue concrete. On the top middle, three light blue stained glass paints, then a mangrove sign here, and here. Down in this corner, two prismarine walls. Then on this left hand side, we're gonna put a column of three warp fence gates like this. And then we rinse and repeat on the other end. So one block in front of these fences, right here, a two by two of light blue, then a door, then this L shape, and a black stained glass. Then two rows of five light blue concrete above this. Then on the top middle, three light blue stained glass panes, then a mangrove sign here and here. On the bottom left, two prismarine walls, then three warp fence gates here. Then put a birch button here and a warp button on top. Same thing on this end. So a warp button here and a birch button here. Then we'll come between this with light blue concrete on this bottom outer edge and fill this whole side in with a row of light blue. And then same thing over here, fill this whole side in with a row of light blue. Above that, we're gonna put four light blue concrete on either side. And same thing, four here and four here. Fill this middle gap with three black stained glass panes on either side. Then we're gonna copy that up exactly the same one more layer. So four light blue on all four of these corners here. And then three black stained glass panes on the middle of each side. Then on the next layer, just do a whole line of light blue concrete across the top end to end. And same thing, a full line of light blue concrete on this side as well. Just like that. Now we'll do the interior, so come inside here, put a bed in this corner. Then on this side, we're gonna put three wax oxidized cut copper here, then skip a block and three here. Put an end portal in here, then close a warp door on it, and a wax oxidized cut copper up here, and one up here. Then we'll grab a bookshelf, and we'll put a bookshelf down right here. Then where this window is, we're gonna put a black stone brick stair here and here, turn around and one here and here for seats. Then there's a little stove in here. So on this side, we need to be one block behind where the stair is, and we're gonna put an inward facing blast furnace here, then a column of four deep slate brick walls coming up. Then we'll put a wax oxidized cut copper right here. Then in this corner, we're gonna put a column of two barrels like this. In between here, put a cauldron, fill it with water and hit it with light blue dye. Then turn around over here. And on this side, will be a table and seat. So put a stair here, skip a block and a stair here. Then here, we'll put an end rod with a trap door and a barrel behind that stair. Then there'll be shelves here. So put a row of warp trap doors right here. Then we're gonna take out a torch here and put one above this door, one above this door. But if you don't like how the floor looks, we can come through wherever we haven't built something and fill the floor in with brown carpet. Then right here, we're gonna close a lever above this for the sink. Then take wax oxidized cut copper slabs and we're gonna start filling in this middle three 
at the same height of the outer roof. Right here, add a row of double slabs here so it comes up to the top, and then fill in this hole up here. Then we'll do the actual roof, and we're gonna take out deep slate tile slabs. On the end, we're gonna put three here, then on this end, we put three on this side. Then we'll do a line of slabs, end to end, across the top middle. Then take a dark oak trap door and put it on top of this wall. Then start at this end. We're gonna do two dark oak trap doors, two black carpet, two trap doors, and we're just gonna alternate that pattern with trap doors and black carpet coming all the way down. And then just copy it over to this side with alternating black carpet and dark oak trap doors right down to the end. Just like that. Now come up here on the side, close a warp trap door here and one here. Then put a warp button here and here. We repeat it on this side. So a trap door here and a button here and repeat it on this end. And I got it too high there. It has to be down one like this. Then I had to replace that concrete I knocked out. Then we're gonna come on this porch area and anywhere we haven't built something, we're gonna cover it in light blue carpet. Do the same thing on this end. Anywhere we haven't built something, cover it in light blue carpet. Leaving above those stairs open. And then I realized I knocked out that carpet on top, so I had to replace this black carpet. Then we'll do some detailing, so we're gonna take birch signs out and on this side we're gonna put three birch signs right here then under it three birch buttons then we're gonna do the same thing over here so we're gonna put three birch buttons here and three birch signs above them now we need to make some banners so come into a loom with a black banner and white dye we're gonna put a vertical in the center then make the bottom half black, go back to white dye, put a horizontal on the middle, then a white border, then a new black banner, and put a white border like that. Then we'll do a light blue banner and white dye. We're going to put a horizontal on the top and the middle, then a new light blue banner and put a horizontal on the middle and the bottom. And then we'll come place these. So we're going to come on this corner here, and we're going to put two of the bottom stripe ones right here, then one here raised up one hitbox, and then the top stripe one right here. Then on this corner, we're gonna use our black and white ones and put this one here, this one here. Then we'll repeat it on this end. So we'll put this one here, this one here. Come to this corner, two bottom stripe ones here. Then raise up one block and another bottom stripe one needs to go right here. And then the top stripe one right here. And that's for the Conrail logo. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our old Conrail transfer caboose with Volunteer. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.